Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is my contest entry for Bricks and Minifigs 1078. So this is Darth Vader. The mask is pretty much the same as the Lego mask. I just did a little sculpting underneath, painted the three silver dots, used a red sharpie to get these little designs. And I used some other silver paint just to give like a little weathering effect. Onto the torso. Right here, the chest plate is a piece of soda can metal, and I just painted it black with some black fabric. I also have the little chain necklace that he has. Um, that is actually a piece of metal. You know, like um, when you're trimming uh, some metal, the soda can metal. Sometimes it curls up, so I just used one of those pieces, cut it, and glued it on. Painted a little bit of black detailing to it. Painted gray lines on top of the fabric right here. Added the chest plate, or um, the where the little buttons are. That is a piece of plastic. I just use um, like gift cards that have been used up. Because that plastic is nice and thick and it works really, really good. It's not too thick, but it's thick enough to get the job done. So I painted on all those little details with this toothpick, which I managed to get in a really thin area. So I can paint little details on. Um, I also have a really thin paintbrush which helps a lot. It's way thinner than this one. I think it actually might be thinner than this toothpick. So, I use both of those for detailing. I have the metal buckle, the fabric belt, some other fabric draping down. On this side, I have some more fabric. And the back is just covered with a long fabric cape that I made. On the arms, I did like a little pattern, a gray pattern, with um, fabric as like the little gauntlets or um, glove tops, a metal shoulder pad painted with a black stripe, so I think that turned out really good. The head I painted myself, I just painted it white, um, painted the gray under the eyes this like little respirator piece which I sculpted on to the helmet then I just did some other scarring marks and then the scar I really really like it because it has a weird texture to it and it's not like pure red all the way so I really like how that came out gave it a nice scarring effect then on to the lightsaber as you can see with this regular lightsaber I cut off the rim sanded it down used a piece of metal for the black at the top then I just um, got some other small pieces glued it on painted it silver right there I have the little um, button I guess then I trimmed off the bottom right there the little studs shooting out, I just trimmed that off, painted some silver lines on it because this was a black hilt before. Just painted some silver at the top and added some other silver dots. So I think overall this minifigure turned out very, very good. So I'm just going to put the lightsaber in his hand for now. So I wasn't expecting to make this figure. So what I think I'm going to do is right now I'm actually trying to uh, make a custom Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and I'm thinking about making an Obi-Wan Kenobi, because he's a really cool character in Star Wars. So thank you guys for watching again. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already entered my contest, you have about another week left to enter. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out.